What's up guys, it's Bonsai Crazy. How you doing? Today is the 10th of March and I've booked in my pottery lesson today. I'm off tonight in about two hours. I'll be there on the old potting wheel trying to make myself a pot. Probably getting really messed up and it flying everywhere, but hey ho, let's see what happens. If I can get some video of it, then I will. And I show you what I've been doing, but until then, I'll give you a quick look at this. Hopefully you can see it. There's a quick look at my Eagle Bonsai Pot. Hopefully you can see that there. Been making that. I just did the, uh, the rocks and stuff today. So, gonna let this dry now. But um, hopefully I'll have a, a little a little pot to go next to this. Right, I'll see you later on. If I can get some video, I will. So that'll go, come up now. See you in a bit. Do you think the, the force, the centrifugal force of the wheel is, is trying to push the K out? So it's much easier to make a shape that's flared like that rather than yeah. trying to take as much for tricking. Yeah. So just there we've got the clay naturally wants to do. Okay, so Bonsai trees, and then think you you need to make some interesting pots to put them in, or did the pots come first and then the bonsai trees? I actually started just to make stuff like about seven, eight years ago. Yeah, I just started making stuff. I was like, right, I've, got, I've got it in me, I just want to make stuff. And I made things with slate, things with wood, um, and then I decided, oh, I'm going to start with sand and cement, and I made a uh, a Formula One car, bonsai pot, about this big, yeah. and a uh, Volkswagen camper van with a trailer and a boat. That sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so I made all them. Um, and that was sand and cement. And that was all in sand and cement. And right. then I was like, right, I've got to try a play. So I decided I was going to go massive straight away. Why not? Big alien, alien head, face. And it just all cracked. So. Right. <laughs> Typical. So have you always like making things? Like it like yeah, like yeah. yeah. My, my dad's a lot of that. So right. my granddad was like that. Funny, it is to make some things, isn't it? <laughs> Husband's got the, got the sort of attitude, like, well, if, some, if someone can do it, then, you know, why should I be able to yeah. do it? And his dad is like the same, and my lip is exactly the same. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? It's... Yeah, you've got great stuff. Well, it seems that you can do stuff yourself. You don't need to go to the shop. Yeah. Right, so that slots onto your wheel heads, and then there's a lump of clay for you. Thank you. So do you fire your, have you got a kiln? Do you fire your stuff at home? Yeah, I've got a kiln in the garage. Um, so, yeah, get yeah, fireable here, which is, which is really handy. So that's the thing, I think sometimes people get into clay, um, they can get themselves a wheel, you know, and get a second hand wheel, that's not too much. Yeah. A kiln, that's the value of the business. four grand, I looked at it the other day, I was checking it out. Four grand? You know, I was giving one for free. Yeah? This is one of those moments when you ask someone's trying to tell me something and my clay supplier I was on the phone to the clay supplier getting something and someone came into the shop they were moving down to Cornwall and just somewhere in Kent so I've got a kill needs to get rid of you can get someone here with a man and a van um, in the next hour they can just take it for free <laughs> get yeah. on my phone and, and yeah Straight away. you know you can't, I couldn't even if you pay for the man in the van <laughs> <laughs> you know it's nowhere you can to start, oh, so to start a pottery business, you know, yeah. just that kind of outlay. It's huge before you're making any, yeah. any money, so that was a bit of a gift, really. And 
is, you know, it's about eight years ago, so it's still going strong anyway. <laughs> right, okay, so we play the ball. Okay. Then we need a dot of water, literally a dot in the middle of your bat, and then aim for the middle. as well, make sure it's really well stuck. So the good thing about that wheel is you can set the speed on the foot pedal and then you can take your foot away. Okay. Um, so it's just one less thing to think about. Okay. So for the beginning bit we need it absolutely full speed. So get the foot pedal in a comfy position, get that going full speed, lovely. So chuck a bit of water on your plate, yeah, make sure your hands are wet as well. Now, first thing we're going to do is make sure it's really well stuck. So yeah, think about your body position, think about getting over the top of the wheel, and then cover as much of the plate with your hand as you can, and suck up water really quickly, so as soon as it does, chuck some water on, as soon as it feels like it's dragging on your hands. And you're pushing down with your thumbs, in with your hands as well, so you're keeping it in that sort of squat dome shape, and you're just looking to smear a bit into the back to make a really good seal. I'm going to sort of catch a bit of clay with my little fingers and just smear that into the, into the back. So a little bit more, I think, maybe. Nice. Okay. So now let's start to comb that up. So, make sure your hands are wet. Fingers overlap to the back. Heels of the hand opposite each other. Squeezing in. So you need a little bit of welly at the bottom to get it moving, but then ease off the pressure as it comes up. So you can follow the shape up with your hands as well. Glad I called that one on tape. They're gonna laugh about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
taking a little bit of the claim, pushing down with your thumbs as well. If you're really scorching that onto the back, that's it. Yeah, nice. And then you can start to comb that up. So think about that on your back. And think about your hands. If your hands are doing the pushing in, let the clay go up. Try not to pull it up because then you pull the back up. So set your speed on the foot and just take your foot away from the other foot. About the foot. Bit more water when the clay feels like it's sticking to your hands. That's it. Hey, that's going to do me. <laughs> <laughs> that me for the first go. Right, put your back down here. Yeah? That's it. Shot. That's the one. Squeeze those left fingers and you tuck that shape in, that's it. Now instead of the right hand doing most of the work, pushing down, it's the heel of the left hand, pushing away from you, pushing into the middle. Sit your right hand on the top, that's going to centre the top of the clay. And sit this right hand right on top of the clay as your karate chop. So start with your hand, that's it, right on the top, right in the centre, bit more into the centre, that's it. Right, now push that clay towards me. Not so much pressure on that left hand. So you're looking to it through running really smoothly through those hands. So looking good. Lovely. Alright. Does me. So, <laughs> next step, we're going to put a hold in the top. the shape of your fingers around the outside, yeah. two thumbs on the top, yeah. and try and keep your thumbs as upright as you can, yeah. and just start to drill down with your thumbs. You're not going to spread it out, you're just putting a hole in the top. Leaving that little bit in the bottom, about a centimetre of space. Yeah, how's that depth looking? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now let's widen it out a little bit. So, to widen it out, Two finger claw on your right hand, fingertips right down to the base, and then you're pulling that wall towards you with your fingertips staying at the base. So just the base comes out, you're not creeping through up the wall, okay. stay parallel with the back. The left hand is pushing back a little bit, so it's like you're squeezing your right fingers into your left palm. So you can just control the speed as it comes out. You start to give, that's it. You don't need to go massively wide. Take it much wider than that. And I will slow the speed ever so slightly on the wheel. I've got a wobbly pop! <laughs> Character pull pop, that is. Okay, now what you need to do is just give the base a bit of a squeeze. So you're just compressing the clay at the bottom, a couple of fingers in the centre, and then move them out to the right hand side. You 
and just smoothing over any lumps and bumps. Here, if you put, if you squeeze any more here, yeah. I think you might detach right. your wall from your base. <laughs> so I think I would probably leave that one there. Perfect. So what I would do is grab your sponge and then just hold it steady with the wheel spinning in the base and just collect up any water and up the walls, just smoothing over everything. Side edge, outside edge. That's it. Lovely. Hey. Right, 
Oh, my little pop! Whoa, look at that! <laughs> Here we go, guys. Here's my first pottery lesson. Almost a disaster, hey. <laughs> if any of you are interested, um, her name was Hilda Carr, and she does pottery lessons around Croydon area in London. So, if any of you are interested, then give her an email or get hold of her and have a pottery lesson. I can thoroughly recommend it. I made five pots in the end, or four pots and uh, a tray, a wabby sabby tray. So she's gonna fire them and, and glaze them. And uh, I should have some really nice pots, I hope, at the end of it. So there we go, my pottery lesson. I'll see you later, guys. Ta-da.